As exciting. Is, is, okay, let me ask you this. Does Taco Charlton, if he in fact is the pick, does does he excite you? Is that is that a guy that uh, is uh, is that that type of guy that you thought uh, could be uh, an edge rusher, right edge rusher, left edge rusher? I'm gonna let you film geeks deal with all that crap. I just feel vindicated that the Cowboys in that circumstance would agree with me. Is that just get me a guy, get me a guy? Like shut up about the right end and like can he be, like just get me a dude get me a, a freaking defensive but end who can get in here did and they play. get a dude yeah time will tell dane time will uh, tell I, mean, I guess if they drafted him if they, and we're talking about you know like i say would you rather have kevin uh kevin king or, right. or taco charlton here that's, I, that's what you gotta have to look at personally me personally kevin king has been my pet cat for about a month now i like him a lot yeah i would probably have drafted kevin king but over the last five days, I would say, not even a whole week, but just really since this week started, I just kind of had this sneaking suspicion that they wanted to get a pass rusher in the first round. I felt like that was paramount to them. Uh, I mocked Tyus Bowser to them in the first round yeah. today. So you're thinking defensive end all the way. I don't even like Tyus Bowser, but I just thought that that's what they wanted. They want a guy who can get the quarterback. That's why they got knocked out of the playoffs the last two times they've been there. You like yeah. Tacos? I, I love tacos. Yeah. And all about the taco, huh? Person and like I said, okay. Again, only time will tell, but I think Taco Charlton can come right in and be a viable member of the rotation. I would play him on the left side of the line. I would let Demarcus Lawrence and Benson Mayowa play on the right side. So then you probably have Taco and David Irving playing on the left side with David Irving occasionally playing defensive tackle. Mm -hmm. Does any of this sound appealing to you? Oh, hey, picks in here for the Cowboys. So does any of this sound appealing to you at all? What I just said. No, I, I'm listening. It, to it you. works for me. And on top of that, you think down the line, Demarcus Lawrence is in a contract year. Right. You, know, you got to worry about that. David Irving is on a tender, so he doesn't have a long term future here. This guy, five years of a pass rusher. At the very worst, he's a left end who can just do his job and be a guy. And that's not bad at 28. And that's what you were talking about, Dane, right? This guy's got the simil similarities of, of uh, what we And at the very best, how good could he be once Rob Marinelli gets his hands on him for a couple the of years? The best compliment that I can give Taco Charlton is he reminds me a lot of Justin Tuck, Justin Tuck. when I watched him at Notre Dame. Right. That's a fantastic comparison. That, exactly. That, and that's the best compliment I can give now. Justin Tuck fell to the third round because he had an ACL and all that. But uh, he really took his game to the next level when he got to the NFL. Um, and so it's up to Taco Charlton to do the same. Because uh, really, Charlton was a one-year starter, basically. as a Yeah. Starter. He was kind of lost on that depth chart. Three, uh, you know, they, they were a 3-4 scheme under uh, under. Uh, all right, wait. Oak. Excuse me, Dane. Uh, commissioner's at the, at the podium. With the 28th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Taco Charlton, defensive end. I think we Michigan. confirmed our suspicions there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's uh, look. I think they're better players on the board, and th and that's fine. But I think I, I, they they got a good player. Um, it, it's up to Taco Charles and take his game to next level. Next right. level now, because right. that, like I said, he is a one year starter, and the flashes are intriguing. You're talking about a a big guy. I mean, he's almost six six, two hundred eighty pounds. Uh, you know, not that quick twitch speed guy around the edge, but you factor in his length. You factor in once those long legs start going, those big, strong strides. Uh, he can be a, a, a pass rush threat. He just he's still figuring things out. Yeah, um, I, I, I like him. I'm not sure that he's going to pay immediate dividends in year one. Uh, you know, he's not going to be a double digit sack guy. You know, the no. Cowboys fans okay. should not expect that. They're picking 28. They're I'm, not going to get a double-digit sack guy. I'm tempering expectations. And, okay, and that's fair. Kind of like I was doing last year with Bosa. Here, and <laughs> well, uh, Landon, if you're listening, if you haven't like left to go jump off a bridge and anybody else that's out here that's upset about this pick, great, oh, maybe he's not great right now. Maybe he's yeah. – he's, can, he, can he contribute? Can he contribute right away? Is he going to be a game day inactive? No, no, oh, right. No. Like you were yeah. saying, part of the rotation. He's ready Definitely. to go yeah. right away. Maybe he's your Jack Crawford. That's an argument that I got into today is maybe he's not any better than Jack Crawford. That's sure. fine. That, and, and it's not great, but again, you're picking 28th. 
that's the type of guy you get at 28. Right. No, and yeah. and for what you just said, he reminds you of Justin Tuck. Yeah. Um, what, He's a one-year starter. He's still right. growing into what he can do. So there is every reason to hope that he can blossom into a much better player, especially working under a guy like Rod Marinelli. I feel like we lean too much on Rod Marinelli sometimes mm-hmm. just in what he can do and what he can develop. Like at some point it's on the player, but I just, I, and I, I don't, I'm not doing backflips over this pick, but right. this whole spring, I just, it, I just feel like taco has been in this echo chamber where everybody's convinced he can never be good. Whereas I just think this is a solid pick that could put it this way. It's not going to come back to bite you in the ass. I don't think at the very least, I mean, yeah. At the very least, he'll be an okay player. Solid pick is probably the best way to put it. At the very least, he'll be okay, and there's at least a chance he'll become something better than that. I think each of us would have taken someone else. That doesn't mean it's a bad pick. It's true. Yeah. It does not mean it's I, a bad pick. That's totally fair. I would have taken somebody else. Yeah, I think Kevin King. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit here and throw up because I'm so upset no, that Taco it, Charlton's the It best. is not a bad pick. I mean, I, I like I said, I think all of us would have taken someone else. That does not mean this is a bad pick. Uh, he's a player that was right there late first, early second for me. It, it's not like this is bad value. Um, I, I like it. I, I prefer TJ Watt as a pass rusher, but Taco Charlton is not a bad player, and you get excited about what he can be. Like I said, a one-year starter, a guy that once he was in that 4-3 scheme, uh, that they went to this past year and had a chance to be a full-time starter. Uh, he was close to double-digit sacks. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of potential here. So yeah. it's if, if Taco could reach that, then great. Would you say that he has a – and, I mean, we're not comparing him to a guy taken in the top ten, but for where you're taking him, does he have a pretty high floor in terms of he's, you know, I, he's not going to be noticeably worse than you already think he is, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. I just – uh, I think of I just I think of him as a guy who can come in and be one of the four main defensive ends in this defense right away. Right, he's and just not going to wow you. That I mean, I, that's kind of been my my, but my thought with him the whole time. And again, I'm has not DeMar- asking. Has Demarcus Lawrence wowed you? No, see, that's what I'm saying though. I, that's I, the type I, of player I, you're drafting. Yeah, and that but I, it sucks. But that's what that's what you get at 28. I was thinking though, maybe that if you look at the see, that's where I would have taken King. I, I, you know, and I, I had both players in the second round, but I think that maybe I would have taken King here because I, I saw a guy that was really, it was always close, but never really finished. You know, that he, he you know, the, the motor's great. The effort's great. Give me the guy that's going to finish. That's what I want. You know, and we're, you know, we're, you know, right there in the, we're watching some highlights though, able to get around the edge right there. A couple of times they're showing, but I just did not see a guy that consistently. That's what I I was really well, really. He, he wasn't. I mean, yeah. In his, he's very. He's still very raw. I mean, he had only forty three tackles. Yeah. And that matches the tape because he would often read the run wrong. Right. He'd guess a lot. I mean, there's still so much he has to learn, and that's that's okay. I mean, that, that's again like to your point, picking twenty eighth in the first round. These are the types of p- players you're going to get. They're far from perfect. He has a long way to go, but uh, he's going to be part of the rotation as a rookie. And You feel better about your odds of getting a DB you really like at 60 than a pass rusher? Yeah. I mean, we said that all along. Yeah, of yeah. course. And, and, and that's – hey, the, the Browns picture. is on – Browns. I sound like I'm, be, I'm, I'm not meaning to, like, be condescending because obviously y'all know more about this than I do. But Browns are up, Dave. Excuse me. He's trying to talk Cowboys, Brian. <laughs> 